Right then, as you know here at Bike Channel, we are always pestered by celebrity guests, just turning up on the doorstep, <laughs> wanting to get on air. And you know what, we've got some small-time DJ, probably haven't heard of him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, international superstar, Mr. <laughs> Carl Cox. It is a real pleasure to have you on the show, sir. Thank you, thank you. Been a massive fan of... I mean, you're such a pioneer in the world of DJing, and, and, and it seems almost strange to get you on here. <laughs> oh, no. And not talk about that massively, but um, you're a big bike fan, aren't you? Yeah, I've been really into bikes since I was like 13, 14 years old, and uh, I was always on dirt bikes and doing jumps and, and crazy stuff with the, with the dirt bikes many years ago. Um, but then I found myself, uh, soon as soon as I got a 50cc engine on, a, on a, any motorbike, it was the Yamaha FS1E, yeah. uh, <clears throat> now known as uh, obviously the Fizzy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and also nowadays, these, these bikes are actually worth quite a bit of the money. Fizzies are worth loads because they're like proper collector's items. The proper collector's item. I wish I knew that when I crashed about four of them in the <laughs> early days. <laughs> I would have had them now as collectors. But then uh, all the way through that, I, I ended up with a DT175 Yamaha. Um, which was for me, it was just like Duh, when I saw the brochure and everything, it was one of those must bikes bike. have to, 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 the bikes to have. And then uh, eventually, uh, I ended up with the uh, Yamaha LC uh, RD 250. And, uh, and, and this is the point of time where I was, I was thinking, well, I'm either going to go further in, in the biking or basically getting myself into cars. So unfortunately, when it got to that point, I changed from, from bikes to cars. Uh -huh. But for 25 years, um, I was always into cars. And, and only about five years ago, uh, I found myself taking my CBT uh, here in the UK. The history of my bike riding right now, it comes from this place, uh, PH yeah. Motorcycles here in Crawley. And uh, I took my 125 uh, CBT and, and I managed to pass that. <laughs> Listen, with all these ridiculously amazing bikes, it must be almost impossible to pick a favourite, but it's the question I've got to ask. It has to be the Desmo CD cheer. <gasps> <laughs> Probably, in my eyes, anyway, one of the greatest bikes ever made, yeah. um, and one of the best track tools ever ever had. And, and you've got your full race system on it as well. I put, I put a full race system on it. I mean, if I because it didn't sound good enough. But, yes, <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, it's it's track ready. I mean, you know, I, I, I might just hand this over to Valentino Rossi. <laughs> just say, do a lap on that, mate. That'd be Thank awesome. you. Let me see how we get some of it because it's it, it is truly amazing this, this machine, and um, I. I would like to take it on the track for sure. Um, I don't think I'm quite ready to take this, this bike on the track at the moment. I mean, you give me any other bike to ride around the track, it's no problem at all. Give me Yamaha R1 or Fireblade or, or give me an Envy Gust or anything. But yeah. with this one, I think you need a little bit more more guts and... <laughs> oh, I love how passionate you are about bikes. I mean, you, we, we've talked for hours off camera already about this and every time, you, you know, new stuff's coming out. And, and as you said, you've had an affinity with Ducati. You've, you've been to Bologna as well, haven't you? You've actually seen the factory. Yeah, I, I got asked to go to Bologna and really see the history of Ducati, how they started. And I actually didn't, didn't know that they were actually an electrical company to begin with. Yeah, they, they made electrical components. And, yeah. uh, and this, for me, was amazing to see that, the, the, you know, the history of, 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 you know, the technology goes, goes back to, you know, I think it's in... The 40s or early 30s. Yeah. I mean, it goes right back. But um, of course, they, they're now more famous for making mo motorcycles and in such a way, and they're always, you know, developing their engines and 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 they've been involved in racing for many many years. And still today, you know, they're, they're still very prolific in the, in the race circuit. Um, for me, I, I just love the idea that this is one of the bikes that actually challenges me and on, on my riding and 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 what it gives me. You know, yeah. you know riding the twin twin engine, uh, uh, a V twin engine is unbelievable. Yeah. You know, in the sense of its gearing. The way how it how it, how it, it pulls in, in low gears and and it just you know it, there's always this big fight divide between inline fours and V-twin yeah. motors, but I, I love them both. I, yeah. I, I I get equally the much pleasure out of each one of them. But Ducati it just is is something that you have to really ride and and, and ride with conviction. <laughs> that, that's my, that's my experience and and I found that when I did get more experience in riding that that I was I felt really good about riding the Ducati and then getting on that and then, and, then, and then really feeling what the Ducati is all about when it comes to, to, to pushing these bikes. Yeah. We did take one over to Ibiza. Well, now this brings <laughs> us on beautifully to the next part, Destination Ibiza. I am so jealous I'm going to come on this year. Uh, we were generally, generally trying to come out and, uh, and film you guys, but tell us a little bit about what this is, because this is something you've been doing now for, is it the third year? Yeah, this is our, this is our third year. Because if you didn't know, bike historian here, Carl Cox, also happens to do a bit of DJing in a few <laughs> bars and clubs out there, isn't it? Something like that. <laughs> Yeah, just a couple. I mean, I'm, 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 I've been going on the island now for nearly 25 years now. Every year I've been going, and I just love the place. So for me, this is only fitting to, to, to grab, grab one of my bikes and, uh, and some other like-minded people uh, to take the journey with me over to IB for and back. And, and basically, you leave from, from London, um, and then you, you, we go, we ride all the way down to Folkestone, we get, we get the, uh, the train across over to, 
to, to Calais, and then we basically start our, our European journey from there, all the way through to, to, uh, to all the way through France, uh, down to Andorra, and we go through the Pyrenees and everything, and then eventually go to the border of Spain. We find some really good uh, roads uh, going into Ibiza, but halfway down, we, we, we've got a new race track now called Aragon. Yeah, of and, course. And yeah. we have a, the road going to Aragon. It's I've heard you were saying stuff. this from the hotel, actually, to the racetrack. It's one of the best roads ever. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think the first time we did it, I didn't have much sleep. So when, when we went, found ourselves on this road, I was like, at the beginning, I was like, oh, you know, just, you know, just get ourselves there. And then I suddenly woke up when I saw the roads going round and down like this, all the way down to the race trail. Like, oh, man. Oh, my God, here we go. So. But and actually, just to so kind of go to show how much biking has influenced your life and how much you are into. I mean, your new album's out now, and it's actually called Roads Lead to the Dark Tour, isn't it? <laughs> so it's even, you know, it's, it's music imitating art, imitating life, imitating art, imitating bikes. I don't know what's going on there. No, uh, me neither. But it really is all about that. You know, yeah. uh, every destination I've ever been to, you know, I've had to take a road to get there. Apart from obviously flying to to the venues uh, by wherever I end up being. But it's um, it's it's, it's been an integral part of my life, by, uh, riding, and uh, and it has been from from when I was at school. Oh. Dude, listen, I mean, it has been amazing having you come in. It's so nice to chat to somebody who genuinely does have, and anyone, anyone can see all the passion <laughs> and zeal you have for your bikes. I mean, thank you, thank you so much. Good luck with the album. Uh, obviously, as I said, all roads lead to the dance floor. Destination on Beatles will be happening next year, which everyone can get involved with. And uh, I, I think we need to go out and ride some Ducatis, mate. Absolutely, I'm ready. Let's go do that now. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs>